Alright, so after we waited for Omega Weapon to come and encounter us on the beach, uh, first thing we want to do, of course, is cast Big Guard. Uh, we'll absorb most of its attacks because of the Tetra elements we have. And we can show up Bahamut Zero here. Uh, for Vincent, use Quadramagic Ultima on him. And another extremely long cutscene, or not cutscene, just, uh, what is it, summon thing that we can't skip, just to show him off and how much damage he can do. And... I think he does maybe 4,000, 5,000. He's a lot. A lot of damage. Eight thousand damage, that's way more than what I thought. And we absorbed MP from MP absorb that we have linked to it. So you wanna mine and here is Quadramagic Ultima to show that off too. That deals a lot of damage, especially when it levels up. Well, it doesn't deal a lot of damage uh, single, but um, when it's a kind of uh, quadramagic, it deals a lot of damage, so yeah. And just keep casting Ultima on him with Vincent, and uh, use Magic Breath since we can't really use physical attacks on him, and magic is the only thing that can hit him. Magic Breath seems to do a lot, good amount of damage to him as well. And he's that, not that tough if you just keep using magic on him. Uh, not even Death Blow hits him, that's a shame too. So once your summons are gone and you're, you've used up as much Ultima as you want, um, just use Magic Breath. And it'll take him out no problem. These uh, weapons seem big and like threatening, but they're really easy. They aren't that hard when you know what to do. And I have Omni Slash, which I also gained at the. Uh, it's at the battle arena. You have to gain a ton of battle points, but I uh, here's showing it off. I got this while I was training my Chocobos up to the S rank. It does a ton of damage, and um, you can get this by fighting at the battle arena and getting a certain number of battle points so this is a the best uh, limit break for cloud and it kills him and you gain a ton of a MP or uh, not MP stuff level up stuff and now that uh, diamond weapon is destroyed, we can head to the north crater where Sephiroth is. Go see what's going on with him there. And there's just more talking after that, so now we're gonna head over to Midgar, and I always get lost heading to Midgar because of all these different big areas on these continents, but it's on the first continent, kind of north in the first continent. 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 Yeah. Man, I have a hard time speaking today. Or all the time. Yeah, probably all the time. Anyway. Just head into Midgar and uh, ram into it and you'll parachute into the place because we're going to head into Shinra or uh, we're gonna stop Hojo actually who's at kind of Shinra 
So once you're in here, just go over where Kate Sith is, because this is kind of his whole plan since he's undercover. Talk to Kate Sith, and he'll open the hatch for you. And climb in. Uh, you need Barrett in your party for this mission to get his ultimate weapon, so make sure you have him there before you go any further. And uh, there's a ton of ladders you have to climb in this place. So um, I'm going to skip out most of the ladders because all you're doing is going up or down because that's all you do in with ladders. And before you head up or down any ladders, there's a couple of treasure chests over here. There's an elixir and all the way to the right is a mega elixir. So make sure you grab those. Now we can continue back through. Head down this long pillar of stairs. I don't know who built this place and why they have a bunch of air ducts and stairs and pipes and ladders and what they were thinking. So once you get to the bottom of this ladder here, if you if you could see this in Sony Vegas, there's just a bunch of cut up pieces of video from ladder climbing skipping. So, head up this ladder all the way over here in the top left. And once you get to the top of it, there's a treasure which contains an Aegis armlet, or Aegis, Aegis armlet, whatever. Who cares how it's pronounced? And before we take that ladder on the left there, because, well, we can't, because we're going to fall down this thing, now we can take that ladder on the left. So climb up that all the way to the top, and you'll be in this kind of uh, walkway where you can enter an air duct. Don't worry, you don't have to climb through it. He does it automatically. And there's two treasures up here you can pick up. Uh, one is an elixir, and the other is a enemy. No, it's a starlight pendant. So make sure you pick those up. And if you head up those stairs, you'll continue on with the story. But uh, if you don't want to see some more treasure digging, then just fast forward to the end. And take this 42, number 42 air duct here. To more treasures in the safe point. Oh god. No, wait, that save point is continuing on with the story, which we can't get to yet. Instead, it takes you to another ladder that you can climb. And once you get to the top of it, if you go to the left here, there's a Max Ray. A, another uh, weapon for Barret. And uh, I just fast forwarded to this part, since all you have to do is backtracking through some air ducts and stuff, so you shouldn't find that too hard. Head to this vent next to the save point, save if you want, because there's going to be a boss battle coming up. And this air duct takes you outside, into, or not outside, underground.